Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NFL team announces they will go beyond fines when penalizing players who kneel for anthem. At least one NFL team has come to the conclusion that their money-losing race-baiting nonsense kneelers who ruin entertainment by abusing their platform to protest during work hours could be punished by suspending the players who engage in such pathetic behavior. I'm talking about the players who take a knee to protest and the Miami Dolphins are about to start punishing people for not having proper anthem conduct. After a horrid 6-10 season last year, the Dolphins probably thought it was the least they could to do bring back fans who boycotted the NFL after a wave of activist millionaires started taking a knee. The only time taking a knee ever meant anything was when Tana Harding allegedly had someone take Nancy Kerrigan's knee back in 1994. The Dolphins' new policy suggests that any player who protests on the field during the national anthem might face a suspension of up to four games. That's quite a few games lost for being a social justice warrior. Hopefully, the players who face this suspension are also losing their paycheck for those weeks. This is quite an improvement for the NFL as teams with protesting players should always suspend them. It's not their personal time, nor their platform to protest on. These players are at work and protesting during work hours should always be punishable by the boss. If any of us protested at work, then we would probably be disciplined too, especially if it made our customers turn their backs. Why should it be any different for football players? Miami Dolphins players who protest on the field during the national anthem could be suspended for up to four games under a team policy issued this week. The proper anthem conduct section is just one sentence in a nine-page discipline document provided to the Associated Press by a person familiar with the policy who insisted on anonymity because the document is not public. It classifies anthem protests under a large list of conduct detrimental to the club, all of which could lead to a paid or unpaid suspension, a fine or both. Miami's anthem policy comes after the NFL decided in May that teams would be fined if players didn't stand during the Star Spangled Banner while on the field. The league left it up to teams on how to punish players. None of the team policies have been made public. The NFL rule forbids players from sitting or taking a knee if they are on the field or sidelines during the national anthem, but allows them to stay in the locker room if they wish. The new league rules were challenged this month in a grievance by the players' union. The take any nonsense dates back to when Colin Kaepernick was protesting and we all see how that turned out. He's no longer in the league and at this point, there's no chance for him to come back. He keeps getting older and likely deteriorating. See what social justice did to him? It cost him his career. What does he do now? Hopefully, he saved some of the money he made while playing, that way he can survive, but he could have been earning millions more for him to spend, donate, or invest. If he's broke, then oh well serves him right for dissing the American flag like that. When people abuse their platform and entertainment, then fans are often turned off by it. We watch sports, television programs, and movies as a form of entertainment and escapism. We want to be immersed into a story, drama, and something that's simply there to keep us entertained for an hour or two. As soon as people start protesting during sports, then some people are like no thanks and immediately shut it down. People don't like protesters and they don't like their entertainment ruined. What happens when you combine the two? It's like mixing bleach and ammonia. It's a very bad idea and it could kill their careers. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.